A shocking case in Hamilton County leaves parents baffled. A 13-year-old boy is caught on a school bus having sex with an 8-year-old girl. Julian Grace reports Fisher's police say charges in the case have been dropped, but the lawyer for the girl's family says she was raped or molested based on state law. The disturbing details in the form of a one-page anonymous letter. The writer details a 13-year-old boy raped an 8-year-old girl while riding a school bus through Fisher's, and it was all caught on a bus camera. The two were students at Indiana School for the Deaf. The writer says the bus driver and bus aide discovered it, but dropped the kids off anyway without saying a word to their parents. Fisher's police confirmed the case did happen, but they add the case is now closed. They say the 13-year-old boy and the 8-year-old girl had consensual sex and that there's nothing left to investigate. But an attorney for the 8-year-old's parents doesn't agree. Robert King added this statement this afternoon. He says, quote, as a matter of the law in the state of Indiana, an 8-year-old girl is incapable of consent to sexual intercourse. The law in Indiana establishes that a victim younger than 16 cannot consent to sexual contact. The attorney's statement continues, quote, It is profoundly disappointing that Fisher's law enforcement, as well as others, have not demonstrated a familiarity with Indiana law on their investigation of this case. That was Wish TV's Julian Grace reporting. Officials for the Indiana School for the Deaf say they are aware of the situation, but while they are in charge of students while on their campus, Noblesville schools are in charge of what happens on the bus. Noblesville schools released this statement. Authorities have been contacted and are investigating an incident that occurred on a Noblesville school bus on February 1, 2012. The children involved are safe and have returned to the classroom. The two adults assigned to the bus in which the incident occurred have been removed from active duty pending further investigation. We have no further comments on the investigation and will answer no further questions. Calls by Wish TV to the Hamilton County Prosecutor have not yet been returned.